Hi guys, I hope you're doing great today. Thank you so much for watching the videos and subscribing. I appreciate you immensely. Welcome back to my kitchen. In this video, I want to show you how I cook my beef neck bones. And I'm doing neck bones because it's not mostly bones guys it's pretty good meat on these bones and i'm using the neck bones instead of oxtail right oxtail is a favorite jamaican dish um meat dish that we usually cook but for one i don't get oxtail out here in the countryside I must ask the farmer what they do with that cow tail when they kill the cow at the slaughterhouse because they don't use um, some of those parts of the meat. So I must ask him. But anyways, we don't get oxtail. Plus, oxtail is not knocking the oxtail, but it is a lot of fat and it is so expensive. So... I figure I'd use my beef neck bones to make my oxtail dish. So the first thing I'm going to do is just get the meat in my slow cooker because yes, I will be cooking it in the slow cooker. It will cook slowly and get all the time to absorb all the flavors in the pot. And so I like to use my slow cooker for things like these. So let's get the pieces in the pot so that I can wash my hands and show you guys what I do next. There we go. I'm just going to cover it for now and I'm going to wash my hands. And I should mention that, yes, I washed my meat after I took it from the package because <laughs> it's, uh, well, maybe other people do it too. But in our culture in Jamaica, we wash all our meats before we cook them. And so that's ingrained in me. So I did wash the meat, okay? My Jamaican friends that messaged me and said that, now all Jamaicans cook, they wash the meat because I didn't show me washing the meat. I did wash the meat. Okay, so let's go. The next thing I'm going to do is grind my seasoning. So I have a bunch of jars here on the countertop. And um, it's an allspice seasoning. So I'll show you what I am putting in this allspice seasoning and i'm not measuring i'm just eyeing what i put in so i have some dehydrated ginger and this dehydrated ginger i got from doing ginger juice in the kitchen i don't throw away the fibers i dehydrate them and use them in my meals because they're still pretty good there's the, the fibers still pretty strong after I do the juice. Then we have some coriander. This is fennel. I'm putting in just about three cardamoms because they're pretty pungent. So I don't want them to take over. A little cumin. Dehydrated onion flakes. I usually put quite a bit of onion flakes. Crushed red pepper. Some black pepper, ground black pepper. And we have turmeric. 
don't want the dish to be yellow so i'm not adding too much turmeric if you add too much turmeric then your dish is going to be yellow like a curry and a little pink salt now just cover and grind make sure that all those coriander fennel and cardamom seeds are ground properly and guys usually i grind my spices on demand because when you grind your spices or even when you buy ground spices in the store and take them home they lose their potency after a while so I get mostly seeds and use them grind them myself so now I've ground my spices just gonna go ahead and sprinkle over the meat in the slow cooker And I'm putting in all this goodness. Next, I have a large onion here, white onion. Some, or three cloves of garlic. And uh, these are onions i bought at our well my husband bought them at our local farmers market so what i'll do is i'll julian half of the onion and i will shred the other half i like to shred onions to put in my meats and stews because they more readily release their juices to get into your meat and make it tasty there we go the shredded onions I'll add to the meat oh it's really getting to my eyes it's so strong and then I'll julienne this and leave it for later this meat in the slow cooker it's going to cook for about three or four hours or until pretty tender falling off the bones tender so i'll just put this in cover it to add it to the slow cooker later yeah I know I'm crying because of the onion <laughs> okay the garlic I will shred so I'm now going to add the garlic to the slow cooker right now I'm just going to let it sit for about 15 or so minutes so that it can get the compounds within the garlic activated before I add it to the slow cooker. Cover it and put it over here. Chop these. 
and I'm going to go ahead and add them to the pot. Now I'll add some, some molasses. I don't use browning that you buy in the little bottles. I just use molasses in my dishes to help to give them flavor and a little brown color when I need it. Then I'm going to add some of my preserved tomatoes. These I preserved from last year's garden. You don't have to use preserved tomatoes. You use fresh tomatoes. But these are the tomatoes I have that I preserved. And I'm using them up, right? Because this is another season. And I have a lot of tomato plants in the garden. And I'm looking forward to reaping a lot more tomatoes. So I'll put some of the tomatoes and some of the tomato juice from the jar. Then the next thing to do is just to put the lid on and I'll turn it up to high. And because I have the tomato juices in the pot, let me show you what it looks like now. There we go. So because I have the juices in the pot, I won't add any water. I will let it start cooking and uh, I'll check back maybe in an hour and see how it's doing. If it needs liquid, then I'll add hot water to the slow cooker because I don't want to slow down the cooking process. If you add cold water, you will slow down the cooking process. So I add hot, hot water <laughs> to the slow cooker if it needs water. But that's it. It's going to start cooking. And I'll check back in an hour. So I am back to check on the beef neck bones, oxtail. And uh, it's been about um, three hours or a little less now that it has been cooking. And I don't need to put any more liquid in this it has generated enough liquid on its own it's getting soft and so i think it has maybe about an hour left to be cooked what i'm gonna do is just flip the bones upside it down here so that the the meat portion <laughs> Can get down into the juices. Let me take you closer. Okay, so this is what's going on here. This part was in the juices all along, so I'm just flipping. I have four pieces in here, so I'm just flipping them. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add the garlic and the rest of the onions so I've, at the end when it's finished cooking I'll have some semblance of onion left in the dish So now that I've done this, I just got to cover it back and let it finish cooking. So we'll see you later. Hi guys, I'm back. And the neck bone has been cooking now for just about four hours and it is soft and falling off the bones. I have gravy in the pot here with the neck bones and so i am getting ready to dish up some dinner
that's it guys dinner is served with rice and mung bean steamed broccoli and carrots and my delicious neck bone which is imitating how we usually cook oxtail guys thank you so much for watching and subscribing sharing commenting liking it means a lot to me i appreciate it if you have watched this video and you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing and remember to hit that notification bell icon so you can be notified of new videos you take care now and i'll see you in the next video